In this problem, we have to represent this plane curve, which is actually just a line, as a vector-valued function. So recall that a vector-valued function uh, has the following form. So r of t is actually x of t i hat plus y of t j hat. You can express it that way. Technically, you're supposed to put a little arrow here as well. I just, sometimes just a little bit sloppy. Okay, so all we have to do is come up with x and y. So notice we can just let x be equal to t, right? And then in this case, y is equal to, well, x plus 7, so simply t plus 7. So we can write this as r of t equals, well, x of t is simply t. So we have t i hat. And then y of t, that's just t plus 7. So t plus 7 j hat. And that's actually it. That's all you have to do. If you're wondering, can you always do this? Uh, the answer is no. You can only do this basically when the equation has already been solved for y. So if you have like y equal to some stuff with x, you can always just do this and it'll always work. So when will it fail? Ah, if you have like uh, a hyperbola or something like that, then this method uh, will not work because if you try to solve for y, you'll get two answers here. You'll get a plus or a minus. So in this case, you would have to use trig functions. I hope this video has been helpful.